today from Los Angeles, California. It's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. Second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California. We've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Today, we've got a week five matchup in store here as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Meanwhile, for so out come the Rams now for their first possession. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about it being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost, so obviously... They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Defensively, way too many lapses and big plays allowed. That ultimately doomed them in their last ball game. Forced out to his left. And he'll be corralled out across midfield. Down. I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball. Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched it more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. And oh, his first throw of the game going to be intercepted. Picked off by Devin Witherspoon. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. <laughs> Back to throw here. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. That's good. Now, Kaimi Fairbairn for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And the Rams have the first come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. <laughs> On the toss to Charbonnet. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Byron Young, the one who got in and finished that play off. To see what they have planned for second and 23. Smith now to throw. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. Geno now to throw. He lets it fly for Lockett. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by Akeno Witherspoon. And the Rams are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Well, I tell you, Brandon, this ball's intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. On third down, he'll drop to throw. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And out of bounds. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And it's complete to Adams. As a unit.
Now they'll change things up. Three, three. On play action, they'll throw. Flush to his right. He hits Adams complete. Now a play fake here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The coverage maybe moved those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Williams going to get it again on second down, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Back to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. He'll drop to throw. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18 yard line. Play will be a field goal try. This one from 35 yards away. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and they're able to double. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to be here on third. Now Smith. They'll set up a screen to Charbonnet. And they'll have it in the red zone. Before you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. That's caught left side, Myers with it. Again, dead for the Seahawk field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Myers' kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6 throw. Second and three. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a tipping. If they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be taken down at the... It's just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Touchdown! Devontae Adams with a milestone. Career touchdown number 100. Joining Curtis Martin and Franco Harris at the century mark as he continues to climb the all-time list. And the Rams are able to add on to that lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. Now Gino. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to put the down marker back to one. Smith on first down. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And getting this offense, finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to throw, Smith. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And they'll get him down. It's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Throwing again is Smith. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside. And that'll make it second down. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. To throw is Smith. Smith and Jigba with the grab. 
And able to get him down, but he does. On his first catch, it's a first down as well. And now a handoff to Charbonnet. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Zach Charbonnet. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks have cut it back within a score. No oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. It's caught here by Adams. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken. Back to throw again. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in week five. We begin with a clash of Titans in the AFC. Two of the better teams of the last decade. Pittsburgh taking on KC. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, let's get over to the Rockies to check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. Cortland Sutton, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get down to Miami to see what's going on with the Dolphins. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Arizona Cardinals. Cedric Wilson, two touchdown catches in the victory. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one still anyone's game is successful there, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. Smith on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but first down. Throwing on third down, Smith. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Myers. And this is going to be another first down attack. There's Charbonnet once again. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Down at six now. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Six yards, the pick. Come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Gino now to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Looking to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's a half. They saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. A big play there for L.A. 53 yards. Sometimes the one-handed catches are unnecessary, but he was trying to ward off the defender with the other, so maybe there that was just a good play. So that tells you that not only do they imagine those types of catches, they actually work on them with defenders jostling them in order to get really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Take 
Now they'll change things around before the snap. They'll look to throw again. On the slant, he's got Hardman. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. So good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They'll drop to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And On first and ten, Smith. That's DK Metcalf running the slant. He's got it. And before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Smith. Throw left side complete. Inches. Again, Smith. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage after the incompletion for second down. On the carry, Charbonnet. And that one opened up for him well in the incompletion on second down. Throwing now is Gino. He's got his target. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get in. Here's Smith. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he'll find Higby open downfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. Now a play fake here on first down. Flush to his right. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what... They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Number seven for nine thus far. This is third and 11. And he, but in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Multiple defenders getting to him there. For Back to throw. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he is going to have a... On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. It's a six-yard gain on the... He'll take that every single time. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be a little... Shed. Out of the gun now on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coming here for Kaimi Fairbear. This to break our fourth quarter tie. 
Fairbairn able to put this one through. And they have taken the lead. On first down, Smith. Short throw to Disley. And the result here, a pickup of eight down. Throwing is Smith. Out to the right, he gets it to Lockett. And Lockett going to pick up a Seahawks for down. Third and four. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. We'll get that to Charbonnet. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough to keep that clock moving. And when you have to lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's going to have a ramp for football. 18 He'll drop to throw. And that nearly the pick that they need. Second and six coming up. Back to throw, Smith. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. They'll run for it with Charbonnet. And he's got the first down yardage before being now second and four. Smith to throw. That completes it again to Metcalf. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 34-yard line. Short throw to Disley. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Still time to go for the win, but they've got to get up and spike it quickly. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Now the Seahawks, 27 seconds showing on the clock. Smith. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Here we go. First and goal. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for the Seahawks, they move back over 500 at 3-2 and two now on the year. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL.